Are we live? Hope so. I think yeah, we're, we we're live, live on all platforms now. The Outcast right. podcast really stepping up in the world. Twitch. Yo. Twitch. Is this thing on? Hello. Hey. Hello, What's Twitch. Up, Twitch. What's up, bitches? How about YouTube? Welcome. YouTube. We are here. <clears throat> What's also, up? Uh, they be talking mad shit about us on YouTube, yo. To our face, <laughs> yeah, they, I think that's hilarious. It is. They call us the most feminine all male podcast. No, no. Yeah, some do say that. Stop with that. Oh yeah, who's who's saying that? Well, we have Alpha Boot Camp. We're going to tell you about later in the show. Alpha We've, male boot camp. Alpha or male. Is it, or is it just alpha? Maybe it's alpha male. I'm not oh, sure. Gosh. We'll get to it later in the show. We've also got the women winning. That's right. It's all about the girls today on the show. Again, really? we go back to the feminine stuff here See? on the all-male podcast. But, hey, we can't deny the girls this week. We'll talk about that coming up. Also, conjoined, a conjoined female who has married another man, all three of them in the room when you have sex. Sweet, it's sweet. a real interesting dynamic. Sweet. And the internet can't stop talking about it. That's why we'll talk about it. Sweet. We will. I, I do want to say it is called the Alpha Male Dominance and Masculinity Boot Camp. <coughs> cool. cool. $15,000. I can't going? wait to talk about that. How shit. much? Anyway, we'll talk yeah. about it. We'll get to it. And what else do we have on the list? Morgan Waller went Morgan Wallen went to jail. He's That's dumbass. coming up. He's an I idiot. I don't know who he is. Yeah, you ain't missing nothing. And there's a well-known brand that we've all used in our lives that oh. is just another brand we can chalk up that looks like, according to studies, could give us cancer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And who do we got to thank for this? It better the not people, be tequila. The people who are supposed to be regulating these damn people. Mm -hmm. Cue that regulator song. Mm -hmm. It was a clear black night. Thank Talk you. to him, Regulator! Well, you got it right. Let's go. We are the Outcast Podcast. This is where a black man, a white man, and a brown man walk in to Who's do who? a show. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what you get. Here we are for episode 109. Damn. This one was this one titled "We're the Verboten Bunch." Yeah, we are. <laughs> I like it. I and like it. We're brought to you by BetterHelp and Liquid IV. So we thanks, need them both. thanks to our sponsors. But we'll start the show, tipping our cap and giving kudos to the females out there because this is something I thought I would never see in my time. We keep seeing all kinds of amazing things and bad things happen in the world. Sure. But this I thought was truly remarkable when the women's NCAA national championship got higher ratings. Than the men. Ramo, did you ever think <clears throat> that there was going to be a time where the women could outshine your 1985 championship Chicago Bears or your 1990s Michael Jordans that people would turn their heads to watch the females play over the men? Because that's what happened for the first time in the history of television. The women got higher ratings than the men. Can you I, believe that? I mean, I can for, especially with college sports, simply because... Even high school basketball with females have always been, like, really backed by parents. And, you know, I, I can always remember when I was in school, even through middle grade, there were boys Mid middle basketball Middle grade? Team. We, we call that middle, middle school. school. Middle school. school. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, middle whatever, grade. whatever, dude. Middle, in the middle grade. <laughs> back, you know in middle, back in middle grade. In the middle grade. Middle grade when I was in the seventh. Yeah. Oh, Shut up and let me tell my story. He's on high grade. I am, big time. Well, eh, that's pretty good stuff. Anyways. What was I talking about? You yeah. talking about middle grade? <laughs> oh yeah, back in middle grade. You said that no, in that middle was, grade the girls were really good, so it's sounding no, a little creepy. But were, go ahead. They, well, they were good for some, but they weren't great at basketball. But there were always good like girl basketball teams and boys basketball teams. So I could imagine in some day, some way, they could become at least in a situation more popular than let's say a guy's competition. Sure. Now. Memphis, you went to Tennessee, and the Tennessee Vols, their women's basketball team, I would argue that at times, and maybe even now, is more popular than the men's team. That is one of the unique situations, at least on that campus where you went to college at the University of Tennessee. The women's basketball team, is it not uh, one of the most popu oh, yeah. popular things on <clears throat> campus? Sure. Yeah, go Lady Vols, by the way. We just hired a new coach, I'm Kim Caldwell. She's the fourth coach. Uh, in Lady Vol history behind uh, Pat Summit, who the reason why the women's game is so dope is because of <clears throat> Pat Summit. And so, yeah, we won um, eight national titles and the game has grown with UConn and mm -hmm. Baylor and LSU and so forth. But, yeah, I, I, I knew it would always be good. It just they once they stop putting out a bad product and they got more like female stars like yeah. we have now. Then it's more popular. So hell yeah, I'm excited for it, yo. They can play, man. And they, they play they like it's a true team sport. 
Now, in defense of the men, I will say it was different time slots. Big time. You had the women playing on a Sunday afternoon when people don't have work, and you had the men playing on a Monday well, night. Monday night, yeah, it was a Monday, Monday night. night, and it was late. Like they it was like ten o'clock. Started at if, nine. If you were on the East Coast, they started at nine twenty. Is yep. when they tipped off. The game didn't end till close to midnight. Now the game was being played in Phoenix, where I know they're one of the few cities. Yeah, they don't do the. Uh, they don't time change their change. time. No, nah, they don't. But they could either be two hours off from the East Coast or three hours, depending on the time of the year. But I know they want to get that TV dollar, but the men's didn't deliver big ratings like like the women. Um, but do you ever see a time, Tomcat, in your opinion, where women's sports are not only getting higher ratings, but the women are getting paid lucrative contracts like you see the men getting paid? And do you really see them packing stadiums and this continuing, or is this a flash in the pan? Oh, I'm sure it will continue um, as popular players like Caitlin Clark mm -hmm. and other players come out. And they've always said their argument that women weren't making as much money as men was because they weren't getting the viewership that men were getting. Well, now that they are getting that viewership, then, yeah, they should be getting paid pretty soon, yeah, per what the viewership is they're getting. So, yeah, they should be I'm getting sure paid. I'm sure they'll get there. Yeah. yeah, and not only that, More. because this is uh, college, you have the NIL where now right. – so Ooh. being that both South Carolina and Iowa both played in the in the championship game, you know, the players on those teams, oh, they finna cash in. Nice. They finna cash in and, and still stay in college. So Good. imagine being a freshman and you make three hundred thousand dollars and by the time you graduate, you could be at a million dollars. I see even more. I see why they call us the all male feminine podcast I and mean, you guys are just over here pandering to the girls oh knock it off like uh you know we're gonna be the <laughs> next you girl. call us no, that yeah, trying to mess with us are yeah, they not like off. is it not okay for them to do whatever they're gonna do yeah like, let them have they shine whatever that's like, we still gonna get hater. ours guys still gonna do our thing we always do always will yeah we, ain't nothing could be in a hater g i do have some footage of some women's sports that i can get into yeah they like do what? stuff for us let's uh let's roll the tape of this footage now this is what, where <laughs> i think that the women will get better ratings than the men oh uh, hell yeah man now, uh lingerie football league would you tune into this action right here <clears throat> absolutely <laughs> is that what that, is that <laughs> no, what that's not called surprise so that's called i would go i'll have season Tom tickets Cat's not allowed yeah, oh, TK, yeah. you, 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 will, you won't be able to go. Yeah, I get season tickets if it's that a town near me. That's called Lingerie Football League? Yeah. yeah. Unless unless the Chicago Bears do that, I ain't probably watching it. Not because it's women playing football. Oh, just man, because please. I don't Knock watch. Off. Dude, I, don't, I seriously don't watch any of the games outside of the Super Bowl and the Bears games. Oh, you are a terrible sports fan. I'm a great sports no, fan. No, you're not. I like my team, and that's it. Oh, that's terrible. You're a yeah. terrible sports oh, look, fan. Look, look, at look, look at that tight end right there. I wow. Know. Look at that tight end. She's look, got good formation. No, look at that right tackle. Yeah, you know, you guys go ahead with that, but they'll probably beat the hell out of both of y'all. I'm fine with, with that. With that. <laughs> yeah, y'all can't handle that. Yeah, well, shit, she clinched up, she clinched them butt cheeks and ready to go. You got to play, play to pay. Yeah. Well, the women, yeah, they did. Is that your dream to go out it there is. and play play quarterback <laughs> for the opposing team members? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wants to get sacked. Like, all right, guys, I'm gonna take a sack this time. All right. Yeah. Well, Just let him come right through. Yeah. Can we that, run that same play again? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let that linebacker come, let her come on right in this way. <laughs> her and that defensive tackle. You let keep getting go. tackled. Yeah, that's the idea. He's disgusting, folks. Might need a safety. Well, congratulations to the women. <laughs> they got 18.9 million viewers nice. on average to watch <clears throat> the game. South Carolina went undefeated too. That was impressive. Didn't lose a game the entire season. And then you had Caitlin Clark, who scored more points than anybody in the history of women and men's yeah, NCAA she cold, basketball. Man. If you didn't see Kaylin Clark, you missed it. She can shoot. That get she can not only can she Steph Curry your ass, she can take you off the dribble. Yeah, she's nice. She but how much does it hurt her in a world where we say Michael Jordan is the goat because he always wins? I mean, people want winners. The way the way I see Kaylin Clark is uh, she's. I mean, I don't want to say this too loud because we'll probably get canceled. But she's a. She's a loser. She uh, has no. Oh, what? She She's did not, she she have did any not win any championships. She's like the Charles Barkley of the NBA. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. You mean we all love Charles oh, Barkley. What are you no, talking about? She's got no rings. I mean, look at oh, Candace no. Clark. Candace Clark has championships. You mean Candace Parker? Candace Parker. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She Candace went Clark. to the University of Tennessee. Go Vols. Yes. And yeah, also, who was that? Diana Taurasi? I think I'm talking about. Yep. But, but her, she, she was nasty, dog. But like, being, never lost. But being the most scorinous person in NCAA, right, history, yeah, yeah, yeah. woman or man, it's, 
That's pretty a pretty big fate. That's, that's a, a huge deal. Yeah. I mean, she to just watch her. Yo, she called. I mean, she was giving folks the business all year. I would watch her games. I'm like, yo, she, we, that chick, she nice. We were talking about this, and it's like when a team that like what they who they played against is like in a completely well oiled machine that is working in perfect synchronicity, and the other team is relying mostly not all on on one player, their star a star player. Yep. It, the the team that is just perfect in perfect synchronicity is going to win because if that one player happens to falter. And the and you know it's like yeah. the Barry Sanders of football. Barry Sanders was so good in the in the NFL, one of the great running backs. Yep. but never could win because he just was t- he didn't have any other star players. And he had an awful himself. offensive line. The Lions, they the Lions never had a good offensive line the whole time. Until they would now. think you would think they would had a a good line for him, who's the best running back. In history, in my opinion, I, Iowa did have a good player though that was their second best player. I couldn't name her, but I know that she's supposed to be going high in the WNBA draft. Yeah, so I they did they have some other good weed. players. Yeah. Nah, I, I think you, some of them do. But you know what? That's how, <laughs> like, what TK was saying, like how, um, like you have a, a a total team nucleus, and then you have another team that uh, kind of relies on that one player. That's how freaking Purdue lost to UConn. Big time. UConn said Zach Eady. I know we 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 eventually probably will get to this to the men's maybe, but we're gonna let you get yours yep. and we're gonna lock everybody else down. down. That's exactly what they did yep. too. Yeah, it was a good game. I was a Purdue yeah. guy, obviously. I was me, glad me and Ramo both were born, and I don't know how long Ramo lived there, but till I was uh, sixteen. I was a youngster when I moved away from this area, but I still have a lot of ties around West Lafayette, and they 17. love their basketball yeah. in Indiana. That is, yeah, it's yeah. true. There's two things in Indiana: there's farming and there's basketball. And so that state, you know, if anybody's in Indiana right now, even if you're an IU fan, you're probably still happy to see an Indiana school go to the championship. And one more note on that, and then we'll move on. But can you believe the Big Ten has not won a basketball national championship since the year 2000 when Michigan State did it? And to think my Indiana friends, they love basketball so much, that's got to sting. Yeah, you know, for well, for they shouldn't have fired the one coach. The one coach they had, uh, Bobby Knight. No, no, Coach Knight's cool. That was a long time I, no, uh, uh, Kelvin Sampson. Didn't Kelvin Sampson, uh, coach? Yeah, he went, he went to uh, IU for a while. Yeah, and yeah, they were pretty and then, good. And back then he then. got let go for some some crazy. I'm like, man, if they would have kept him, I think y'all would have had one because I like him as a coach. Let's move on to our next topic, which uh, I, I can't get these conjoined twins out of my mind. Oh, whoa, God. whoa gonna, calm uh, down. Please just calm step down. Up, play, uh, later. <laughs> oh, whoops, that was the wrong one. The internet, <laughs> the internet has broke here in the last uh, couple of days since this happened. People can't stop talking about Abby and Brittany Hensel is their names. Oh, gosh. Nice. There, Go on. There is a uh, footage out there on, on the internet. You can oh. see there. Oh. One of them is a bride, and one of them is a husband, and the other is just the sister hanging out. Well, wait a minute. How do you know which one's the bride? It could be the one on the The right. one holding the flowers. Which what? one is holding the flowers? They both uh, are. Look the, like right. but the, uh, the other one's holding the man. Yeah, I don't know I'm which one. Here. I don't know which one is the bride. The one on the so left. Now, do they each own one arm, or does one of the heads well, wait a minute, command now, the whole body? We, we and the other head is just well, vestigial. Now I think we have an alpha beta situation. I don't going know, man. I got here. concerns that gonna concern me. The one right on the now. right seems to be the beta head. <laughs> yeah, the one well, on the left that. is the alpha head. The one on the left is ho- left is hotter, I think, than the one on the right. But what if he? But what if the one on the right is married to the dude? I think the aren't one, they both? I mean, let's be honest. I mean, here. are they, here's what like, I want. Here's what I want to know, and I'll let you guys. Uh, maybe we can. Oh, I know what you want to know, see. buddy. <laughs> Zoom in on that puss. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one of them, motherfuckers. No. Nah. So this is, no, this is interesting. Right? This is disgusting. like science. You guys are gross. <laughs> okay, that's it's only one of those. He says. <laughs> let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> With, I'm I'm curious as to <laughs> it's got to be when, another hole around here. It's the <laughs> it's the night of the wedding and it's time to consummate the marriage, and it's time for him to make love to his wife. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they're in the hotel room or at the resort or whatever. And it's you know now she, let's lay down. It's hey I can't wait. I've been waiting my whole life to make love to you. Mm. Now what happens with the one that's not a part of the marriage? And then there's only one vagine here. Wait a minute. How- Wait so, a minute. So I'm thinking. Are we sure? The way I understand it is both, yes, both brains, both uh-huh. brains get off when the vagine right. is, is going. They're both feeling good. They're both get yeah. It, it it's it's uh, two and a half some. 
How, how do you think uh, it works in the bedroom between the two of them? Like, winning. what does the other sister do? <laughs> they're both gloriously, so, they're so both like, winning. So yeah. does it say like like? So Brittany, you get them on like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and no. I get them the other days. Hell no! It's both of y'all. Come on, let's go. It? It's three's company. Two heads, two I balls. Mean, is that technically a threesome? Though? Come on, knock on my door. I'll be waiting <laughs> for you. Yeah. Speaking of which, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hers and hers and his three's <laughs> company. I mean, now, you, now that, that that thing song makes all the sense now. It Look does. It does. But think about this for a second, right? So if he's having sex with, say, if there's one vagina, there's one vagina, there's one. There's two arms, <laughs> two but, arms, so, two legs. Does he get to put it in both two, holes? Two though, boobs. There's not two vaginas. There's only no, one. No, I ain't talking about, talking about the vagina in the other place. He's talking about going through the back door. The anal part. Shh. Regular chicks don't let you do that. What the That's, hell? What planet you, know, you on, motherfucker? Uh, no. Maybe one of them's cool and one of them's not. That's cool. Sometimes, like, well, come on, yeah. man. I mean, because you got to argue. Yeah. They're arguing, like, yeah, we want enough the butt. No, we don't want enough the butt. Well, no, like, what if, like, <laughs> That's what if, a long if, way. If, if one gets off this way and the other sure. one gets off the other way. So well, then you plug both it. holes, dog. But That's what, what I'm saying. Here's Why something even better. How about, like, when she's giving you the old mouth hug? You just ah. slip it right in the middle and let them catch it from both sides. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. You've been watching too much porn, sir. Boom. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing tonight? Uh-huh. You think about these good joints? Nope. What's their names again? I already got it right here. Their names are Abby and Brittany. <laughs> Abby and Brittany. That's on your mind for the whole Ooh. day, huh, Rainbow? Do we Ooh. have any footage of them talk, talking? Can oh, we roll yeah. any footage from the truck? I'd yeah, let's see I'd what they got to, hear, to say. Hear Brittany and Abby, so if we could pull up the yeah. video. How do they feel? They just recently got married. I know I saw well, some... Congratulations to them. I saw some footage of their first dance as a married couple. Go ahead and uh, roll the tape from the truck. According to Today.com, <laughs> Abby tied the knot with Josh, a nurse and U.S. Army veteran, <laughs> Looks in good in her dress. Yes, you do. Yes, she does. The couple now resides in Minnesota, where Abby and Brittany of were course. born and raised. Brittany and Abby first gained national them. attention in 1996 uh, when they appeared on the that. Oprah Winfrey Show on Oprah. to share how they navigate life through their unique dynamic. That's awesome. They later starred in their Shut own up. TLC reality show, <laughs> Abby and no. Brittany. According to Today.com, <laughs> that sounded like a AI voice. Grade. They did. Abby and Brittany are dicephalous conjoined twins, what? which means they share a bloodstream and all organs below the waist. Oh, Abby ah, controls their there right goes that arm answer. and leg, yeah. and Brittany controls the left. Oh, Back in oh. a 2003 oh, so. documentary, it's a conjoint. It's, it's got to be a united effort old, to, uh, you know what I'm saying? It does. He better be uh, sucking on the right titty. Uh -huh. No. He gets yeah, we're going to be moms. It's pretty intense, man. We haven't thought about how it's being moms is going to work yet. We're just 16. We don't need to think about that right now. Yeah, who would ask that question? Yeah, but he figured out how to get but to now, they got, they got to think about it now because now one of them's married. Well, who's married, though? We didn't get to the bottom of that. I don't know. The they left, both the left are, hand. <laughs> hey, look, they <laughs> shared. No, they man. shared. They sh didn't it say they shared. No, they're organs? only one of them is married. Well, what if one of them wants to get a divorce and they're like, no. the other one's like, no. Off with her head. There's oh, no way around shit. it, dude. Yeah. They're all married. Could we all, pull up the everybody. footage there? Or not the what footage? What if they get into like a fight and one of them's the like, image. only one of them's in a fight with somebody and they're like punching the one head and the other head's not getting punched? <laughs> 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 it's like, I told you not to mess with her. <laughs> They're just shake like punches. Stop it. Stop it. So many people were talking Sorry. about this story about the conjoined twins that they actually tweeted out how they have sex. I don't okay. have any problem with you, but it's other Who fucking did? ass. They did? Yes, this is from them. This oh, wow. Is, this is from Brittany and Abby's uh, Twitter account or X account, I believe. They said, because everyone is asking, we're just going to tell you. Yes, I have sex with my husband. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice. Yes, I go down on him. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> yes, my sister Brittany is there. So now, nice. now we know Abby is the one that's the bride. Brittany's along for the yeah. ride. Who won this goddamn oh, contest? What's going on here? He it's, did. That's it's, who. It says, yes, my sister and I orgasm Winning. as one. Oh, that's great. Winning. Did they harmonize? <laughs> But when I sleep with my husband, she's usually reading a book or listening to a true crime podcast or the Outcast podcast. So she just puts the pleasure out of her mind. She's a liar, dude. Wait a minute. Wait I put a the minute. pleasure on her. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second. I call bullshit. She ah. full of shit. So she's having, so if the, okay. Bullshit. Because they got two different heads, so she could kind of. 
that's 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 something, folks. I'm calling her a liar. That's, I'm sorry. Do both heads wow. lie like that much? Wow. But what if she ain't in the mood to put it out her head and she just want to join in? She that's does. having a threesome. Hell yeah. Cause oh, she invited yeah. herself in. Ever seen my balls that big and salty and brown. Yeah. All right, enough, <laughs> with, enough, enough with the drops Where for TK. Where did come from? Sorry. Don't be rude. Come Aww. on. I did like two. Those are good. Stay away from the crack. I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's impossible. I don't know. Damn it, crack. Piss what a me world. Oh, my God. That's great. It's a blessing to live in this world right now. Yeah, sure, sure enough is. Let's move on to our next topic, <laughs> which is a rap, rap beef we have. I don't know Ooh. if you heard of the latest rap beef, but uh, J. Cole... Kendrick Lamar, big beef going on, and I heard we were talking about it before the show. Mm-hmm. From what I heard, I've heard <laughs> they uh, hip hop has declared, and in some lyrics of a Drake song, I believe he said, "There's the big three, and the big three would be J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and Drake." He, Th- those he put be, himself in there. He put himself in the big mm, three. Mm. So then there's a lyric from a Kendrick Lamar song that's like something about, and Memphis can give the lyric exactly, but it's something about how. Fuck the big three. There's me. You know, fuck you guys. And now, Memphis, how many shots were fired from Kendrick Ooh. to J. Cole to get him to respond? And there's been an apology. So a lot has happened. But what's going on in the latest beef between the big three? I, I don't really call it a beef. I I don't even like that fucking term, beef. So weird, dumb. But anyways. So 80s. I don't know. More like it's 90s, so weird. But yeah. 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 Got what is, what is the conflict? Right. What's the problem? What's, What's the going conflict? on? Let's, yeah, let's use our adult words here. So here's the nutshell of it all, right? Nuts. Kendrick Lamar and Drake <laughs> been always been throwing shots back and forth, but it ain't because of what you think. It's more Drake is pretty much uh, being a little soft ass, little punk, because Kendrick said something about him and uh, a lot of other people in the song they did with Big Sean and Jay Electrica. It's called Control. You should look it up. And it's a really great song. But Kendrick basically said, I'm the best out of everybody, and I got love for y'all. So everybody was kind of cool with it, whatever. But Drake never let it go. So Drake would make these little subtle shots, and Kendrick would respond in kind until J. Cole and Drake do a song called uh, uh, First Person Shoot, Third Person Shoot, whatever the fuck the First Person, person Shooter. Yeah, First Person Shooter, that song. Stay away from the crack. Yeah, fuck you. So anyways, <laughs> the, the fucking song. Do your research. When... Uh, J. Cole, uh, in that line, he says the big three, who's the best between Aubrey, K-Dot, and me? So we the big three and whatnot. On that same song, Drake is dissing the shit out of Kendrick, like, and just really throwing shots. And so we're like, what the fuck? Fast forward, Kendrick Lamar is on a song with Future and Metro Boomin, which nobody knew he was on it until you heard the song. It was like, holy shit. So Kendrick addressed J. Cole first, said, fuck the big three, it's just big me. That's not a surprise. J. Cole got in his feelings about it and proceeded to diss Drake directly. Like, it was it was bad. So, J. Cole felt the pressure of the people to say, hey, Kendrick dissed you. You need to respond. Because everybody knows they're kind of like neck and neck, those two. And so, J. Cole fell into the pressure and, apo- and, and dissed Kendrick. But then he apologized because he got out of his lane. Like, J. Cole is not that kind of dude. Now, do you think that of the big when they say big three... Do you agree that uh, Drake and Kendrick and J. Cole are the big three in hip-hop? Is that safe to say? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I wouldn't just say that right now. I mean, I, if anything, it's, it is Kendrick and uh, J. Cole because... What about Kanye? Does he get, is no, he get Ka- Kanye, involved Ka- in that conversation? No, no, no. Kanye, Kanye time, his past time has come. It's come and gone. So. <laughs> what, about, what, about, what about Future? Future, he, no. He, Future's he not even be close a, to no. being in... Nope. Nope, not at all. No, but it's just the two of them, when it comes to like like real hip-hop music, is Kendrick and J. Cole. And, and everybody and who do you the, choose over those two, if you had to choose? I wouldn't choose anybody over those two right now. Because if you, you those put them in between the two. It's a photo oh, finish. Oh, between the two of them? Oh, Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick. Kendrick, Kendrick, is Kendrick by far. Yeah, Kendrick, yeah. Sorry. Now, he I know that, that when there were rap beefs going on back in the 90s when I loved hip-hop music, if at some point Tupac Cold would have apologized, <laughs> like if he would have done hit him up and uh, did everything he did, and then like a week later he came out and he apologized, we probably in the 90s would have called uh, Tupac a pussy. 
I would have been like, oh, man. I don't know if you want to do that. You're soft, man. Yeah, you I, wouldn't want to do that. Well, we would have if he had apologized. Well, we, But if he back in the day, like, we knew nobody was going to apologize because we understood the rules of hip-hop in a rap battle. <laughs> the, the the folks of today don't understand that. That's why they be on their feelings of, and probably why this is such a thing right now. Because folks are like, Trippy, because J. Cole apologized. He did the grown man thing to do. He knew he got out of his line. And he was like, I need to get my shit back right. And my bad, because that's still my homie. It's like if you and your homie fall out and it's your fault. You know what I'm saying? You got to apologize. What was wrong you with us? Man up. What was wrong with us in the 90s where we thought that you had to have this bravado ego problem ego dissing yeah. people and if you like the pressure to not be soft i remember was big and now this j cole apologizes and this particular generation is praising him which i think is the right thing to do you know and i'm um, uh, kudos and to, yeah, this, I mean, to this generation for evolving and and having a different attitude if we could we have the tape of j cole apologizing i haven't heard it but I guess this is at one of the concerts. He ends up doing a diss record. He just, this is Kendrick. And then, what, two weeks later, <clears throat> he's at a concert and he's apologizing. If we could roll the tape. He's seen the track. Let me write. So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, no, nah, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking God. Text flooded, I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime, boom, 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 right? Niggas wanna see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to yeah. see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. like So pretty much apologizes and goes, I, mean, I thought that, that was, was wrong. well thought out. Was, well, he had to say what he had to say. One thing I noticed is how quiet the crowd was. I mean, you get some people together at a concert and somebody starts telling a story, it could have went really bad. People could have started booing him and, and making a bunch of noise, but the respect nah, they, they had for him, I, I mean, you could have heard a pin <clears throat> drop in that audio when he was telling that story. Yeah, there were some idiots you hear. Not many. Seemed like it was pretty quiet. Tom Cat, uh, what do you feel? Do you think that rap needs to get back to the way it was where it literally ends in blood? It's the way it ended in the 90s, and now yes, maybe yeah. it's evolving. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, well, it definitely doesn't need to go back to that because uh, we lost some of the greats uh, with those rap battles in the 90s, which were really bad. So that I think I have a lot of respect for J. Cole for standing up like that because – I understand what he's saying. You know, you get in a fight with somebody and then you, you say some bunch of shit and you're like, man, I really don't really feel I've like seen that. you do that to Ramo on the basketball court. Where all, you the really yeah, I've, 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 I've all the time. All the time. You've seen me do it on the air. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. He's making dick. playback tapes of me doing he can't it. can't help it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I have a lot of respect for J. Cole and I say it is what is needed in this time because people are, you know, it's very Aggressive. people don't have a lot of respect for human life these days. And each other seems like. So yeah, it's sure. what is needed right now, that's for damn sure. And it sure. pisses me off that people out here just won't like shit to go fucking crazy and shit. Like, no, it, it won't get there. It'll be a like a like a true rap battle. The only thing is it'll be if the the rap fan in in me wanted the two of them to go at it for a little bit because that would have we would have got some of the best 
music in a long time because if you don't understand who Kate, uh, Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole are, they put out incredible music. 100%. And, and they got, and they're not going to not be dropped down from what they do. The, the rap battle is going to, uh, they're going to take it back to when we were coming up. Yeah, it was crazy back in the 90s, no doubt. There won't be another time like that. But when, what we got back then was the best music that ever could come out. It was, so ang- it was very angry music. It wasn't all angry music. So Let's down. not do a that with hip hop. Let's not do that because, so because they lost they lost soul and a tribe called Quest and the Jungle Brothers and all them cats are That's also so. most deaf. They all Kanye okay. West. Gangst- has, How about cr- gangster rap? It was it was an angry no, genre. No, no, Gentry, you're not going to do that today, sir, because it was all d- different kind of rap in the '90s. Like I said, when did Tribe Called Quest I first said album? Specifically, gangster rap w- was an angry. Well, they were, they were angry at certain reasons. You just have to uh, what they were talking about outside the crazy killing motherfucker shit. But <laughs> that was you a know, lot of it. You gotta listen to the lyrics, and you gotta listen to, listen to them not like the crazy shit. That's what people get it twisted, but from the message they saying, but they actually telling a story. story. Yeah, no doubt. You know, and it's like people take that shit to heart, and it's like you you knuckleheads knock it off. Knock yeah, but it th- off. there was nothing quite like the moment when No Vaseline came out. Oh, that was a great. That song That's is a great, classic. Great diss that is a classic. I've never heard Ice Cube apologize song. for No Vaseline. Right, and nor should he, because you know what NWA said to him. They made a whole song about him too. He, I do, I like, do have to see what Gentry's saying. It's, it's almost like when they were. When they were going at each other in the '90s, they were really like, like they were really ready. Those angst. You know to who kill each mad. other about yeah. it. And when they doing it now, when they're rapping against each other, it's like they're not. You know, they don't. I don't think they really want to kill each other. But I no, think in the not, '90s, if you watch that. the videos and stuff, they definitely wanted they to kill each to other. I think sure. because, like, if you look at like even when Luke, Uncle Luke, were down here in Florida, mm-hmm. when I locked, I saw some Uncle Luke videos yeah. like uh, where. He was rapping about Dre back at Dre, and I was yeah. like, "Oh yeah, yeah only, oh yeah." That yeah. was only yeah. one. That was only they definitely one meant some ill no, will. That was only one song, one song. that, and and I because we got that song. Uh, Cowards in Compton is the name yeah. of the song. Get slayed and, and I remember because I'm like, "Oh, that's dope." Luke actually made a rap song to respond to them because, and when hip hop was really hip hop, if somebody dissed you, you had to make a diss song back. And even if you went back and forth, everybody knew it was it wasn't going to fall into the streets. Except for uh, Big and Pac, right? <laughs> the two biggest ones. I mean, but every for the most part, I mean, man, some of the best hip hop battles were in the nineties, and result. we got the sure. best music. That's why I was like the rap fan of me. I would have liked to see Cole and Kendrick go at it, but now that I know they cool, still make that damn joint project that we supposed to got a long time ago. You fuckers, that's what we want. We want Kendrick, we want J Cole to do a whole album. Do it like Nas did with the five years uh, albums and five years of some collective dope shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's make the music game good. You know? Well, Let's uh, do it. Drake's career, I think Drake could actually credit a lot of his career to me, if you ask me, when he dogged Meek Mill and he did that back-to-back record. Yeah, think that, about that. That kind of uh, catapulted him to the next level, which then catapulted him to the next level, which is selling more records than any artist I in wouldn't any go genre. that far. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, that was Meek Mill's fault because Meek Mill is a battle rapper. Meek Mill should have destroyed Drake the, the moment he heard the first one he put out. He should have put up something out right then and ended that. He took he had to take the L, but I don't think that put that made me look at him different. Like, oh, so he actually made a, a diss song. So if somebody try him, he got something for him. Okay, that's great. But then then, then came along Pusha T. Pusha T made a whole song about Drake. I mean, like, talked about his mama, his which daddy. Which one was that? Uh, uh, the story of Don, which, uh. by the way, was how everybody knew Drake had a son. Wow, Pusha T really made that man become a father. Wow, look at that. Look at that. And Drake still ain't responded to Pusha T. That was a viral moment in time, people. That actually did happen. Drake still ain't responded to, to push the T. And then he would throw shots in Kendrick, and Kendrick would throw them right back at him. You know, and what the shit we got going on now, Drake is like the little cat who get two friends, the best of friends, fighting each other, and he the one that started the shit. That's what Drake doing, is try to start shit between uh, Cole and Kendrick. Let's move on to our next topic. Uh, mm-hmm. We all remember from the 90s, uh, speaking of the 90s, and this might have been the early 2000s, late 90s, but you remember Ricky Martin. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Living la vida loca. Living la vida smoker. Well, he's living la vida boner lately here. It, se- huh? it seems like uh, he, was, Sweet. he was on stage uh. with Madonna. And uh, this from one of our producers really wanted to show this footage. I was like, I don't know oh, if no. we want to show this. Bro, this beautiful bean footage. I do but not uh, wanna... we, we have footage of Ricky Martin. This is him at a Madonna concert. When was this? Uh, this was recently, like just a couple of days ago. No fucking way. She was it, man. I had I known, I would have went to see Madonna. I'm not. I'm not hearing any audio from you guys, but I don't know if there's audio on. Okay, there we go. There's some audio. You're expecting like a boy. <laughs> so, uh, so I hear, according to this footage, uh, Ricky Martin gets a raging hard boner while he's on stage, and this video has gone viral. He is Puerto Rican. Well, so it looks what like there's. The fuck whoa! <laughs> do you see that? Blong. Do you see him bouncing up and down there? What is? Oh, and he's got it out like ready to go. Could be the pants. Oh, he got he's flashing his dick. It could be the pants. Uh oh, some. And he's some got suck he's got there. girls dancing on him. Where Sweet. I thought Ricky, I thought he was gay. I thought Ricky was into dudes. He is. Uh, yeah, That's okay. He so still he, gets boners. They were touching his penis. So he still get hard for girls. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay then, so he's not all the way gay. Uh, yeah, he, oh, man, man. Yeah, yeah, he kind of looks like he has a boner there. <laughs> he looks like and he looked not, at it. He's not, uh, yeah. he looks like he's he not wearing he's looking at it. He's showing everybody. He's like, he's hey, like, look, look at my dick. Look at my penis, man. <laughs> 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 he's, he's, been doing, he's been doing that since he was with Menudo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never grew out of it, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was a video that uh, went viral on the internet talking about Ricky Martin and his ginormous... He's Puerto Rican? Yes. A big burrito. Thank you. He had it out. Thank um, you. We have gotten a lot of complaints. Uh, speaking of talking about too much boner and Aww. too much women's basketball, there has been complaints to the show that we are generally you know, driven towards men That's what, who are advertisers. When they advertise on our show, they you know advertise to men, most Hurry. of them. And uh, for some reason, a lot of the men are saying, for an all-male podcast, we're pretty soft. Oh man, they're so talking I'm about like, you guys. I don't know who they're talking about <laughs> you guys. specifically. I think they are including you, Tomcat. No, you, I don't think so. That you're soft. No, I don't think so. You, you soft, you, whatever. That's cool. You can say that. Keep that I'm energy. Soft that's when hard. I need to be. I'll, I'll take your <laughs> chick. Hard though. when I need to be. So Just, I'm, I'm thinking, I'll take your chick. I'm thinking that we need to, you know, get things a little <laughs> tougher. You know, let's, go, let's do this. We're let's new get men. tough. We're new men. We're, we're tough. We're, we're tough. Fucking tough. So our, we're cool. Our producers brought this uh, in for the rundown. They said maybe it's time for us to go to the alpha male boot camp. As long what? as you pay for it. Your family deserves the best version of you as a leader, a husband, and a father. Yes, you could attend alpha male boot camp. It's kind of pricey, but it's 70, 75 hours in total, and that includes time in the field, time seated in learning. How to be- crying. Become a real man. <laughs> how to, Please, how to eat like a real man. Oh my God! Look at this bullshit. <laughs> how to, how to sleep. The Rainbow like would be so fucking oh, fucked. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, Rainbow, so look at that. Oh my God! If your okay. wife came to you, we're like, we're sending you, Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> That's we got right. this for you for your birthday. Do we have <laughs> any of the audio? There's some, there's some footage from this particular man. Oh, man. Oh, the right. fan pulls up. Listen and just to throw this. Man. Oh this man! This is fucking deserved. Be here fucking quick. Like old school. Piece of shit. <laughs> I want to be a better man. I want to be a better husband. I want to be a better father. I want to be a better, you fucking whiny piece of shit. <laughs> I can get that at home. None of you That's deserve to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I got that already. Back. <laughs> you better move with a fucking that was a good one. <laughs> Belly. Look at him. Feet. What the fuck? How does that make you Back. a better man? It's toughening them up. Yeah, right yeah, 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 it'll toughen then you up. Then join the fucking Fuck army, you punk. No way. Dude, fuck you, idiot. That's, that's a whole other level of like Back. commitment there. No, this is a whole you, different. You can level. go home after this. No, this is a whole different level Back. of pussy. This is what the hell. That's this whole pussy saying. ass. Fuck what the that. fuck am I looking at here? Yeah, fuck you. Somebody pay however much money for some this asshole to yell at them. I'll square up. Like fuck what that. the fuck? You deserve to get your <laughs> dumb ass over there. He said they're gonna yell that tongue and call all kind of shit. What the fuck ain't good doing that? These people are abusive. They're what what are they having them do right shit? now? They're going to pick up their pack. 
What the? I just don't understand why they have to. Uh, man, be they got to these so cats must got bullied in school or something. Man, what the fuck is going They're on? Bullied now. Who raised them? What they daddy at? What they uncles? I've heard. I've heard multiple stories, but I've heard it's fifteen grand. It's eighteen grand. It's two hundred and forty an hour. I don't give I a shit. I can grand. just punch you in the face right now and make you fight me. You pit. You fucking pussy. This sucks ass. Yes. What the fuck Who's is that, saw? man? Wait, I, wait a minute now. So wait this, a minute. You paying however much of your hard-earned money to go to a camp to have some puss-ass dude yell at you oh, and call yeah. you all kind of shit? Tell you what to do? I mean, what the fuck? How does fuck? that make you a better Did person? You, are you That's like what Raymond pays child? prostitutes for. Like, Thank you. You don't have, like, at least siblings, pussy. cousins, friends, like... A, a, a big homie that will snatch <laughs> you up. Sounds. What the fuck is going on with this? Yeah, See, this yeah. is the shit I'm talking about, Doc. This old punk ass muff. This punk ass shit. That's crazy. What it is? What the fuck it's is going is. on? I know I just oh, said yeah. fuck a lot. What the fuck is this shit, man? What the fuck did y'all show me today? You're on fire What the today, fuck bro. is that? It's um, called the Alpha Male Boot Camp. Alpha Male, my ass. So that means that means that's a, that's a new form of pimping a motherfucker. You understand You're what I'm saying? Very defensive, man. No, I know because I don't like that about these punk say? ass men out here be doing this old dumb shit. He's salty. You see, what I'm saying no. Fuck that salty my ass. No, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? That just means what you're was, mad. No, what the fuck, your <laughs> fuck? Where your daddy at? Did your daddy raise you not to have a spine? You got a, a, a little jelly? What's going on, man? Do some fucking push-ups. You want to be tough? Go join the army or some bullshit. No that, pain, no help. gain. Like, that what help. the fuck? That, that's some bullshit. This old soft-ass cast I heard. And then you wonder why they had this next generation of dudes is soft as shit. Calm down. Let's move, no, let's move on to the next topic. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> yeah. Let's get uh, Memphis. Play one of those songs. Little bit of grass. You want to hear see? one of yeah, our songs? Yeah, it's a perfect time. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can play one of our songs. Play here. something mellow. OG. Is this our theme song? Yeah, it is. Hold on, hold on. This is artificial intelligence creating a theme song for us. Sounds great. This is how we unite right here. Outcast Unite. Is this where we put our hands in together? And we Feminine get in yeah. my ass, motherfucker! <laughs> That's, that's not Take helping that. us it's be not. any more manly. No? Oh, gosh. Here, here was another one of our theme songs. Oh, <laughs> oh definitely not this one. I don't like no. that. That's too, like, uh, boy band. This looks like fucking NSYNC or some shit. Not or one of the bands that didn't make it. They're like an old town. Oh, to the Outcast Podcast. Yeah, we know we suck ass. That's all right, though. Okay, we can stop this one, too. It's kind of Pearl Jam. More like, uh... No, no. What was that? What's Blink 182? Name? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That little That's Blink 182. Rainbow emoji yeah. sucks. I wouldn't go going back on the road. I like go see those There's guys. one more here I'll play real quick. Step into the world of the outcast. Oh, yeah, Rainbow bring that shit, G. Yeah. We the mystics, always breaking the mold. It's all right, man. It's all right. Well, I can see like this AI shit is terrifying, bro. Yeah. Some shit. This is like a definitely like some Tom Mitch. My wife loves this cheesy the break. She said it thinks it's she thinks it's cool. Hey, this beat is tough. This beat is good, man. That one grows on me every time I hear it. I was like, I like that. I'm like, shit, I I need to copy that. I'm going to put that in one of my sets. Let's play that while we're leaving. Play it at the end. Yeah. (laughs) After the sucky news. Oh, wait a minute. What's it called? Hey, knock it off. We'll we'll get to That's what it's called. Well, okay. Uh, Our next story, we have one, uh, maybe two stories, and then we'll get to TK's news. Then we got basketball this afternoon. Uh, Thanks to our sponsor, Liquid IV, we stay hydrated thanks to liquid iv i already drank mine three times the hydration of the normal you know sports drinks those crappy ones it's great they, i love it these things have uh, vitamins in them and they've got different flavors they've got sugar-free versions oh. if you go to the website you can get a bundler where you could get different flavors Damn. and they'll mail it right to your house and when you check out use our code outcast and save 20 percent when you check out that's thanks to our, thanks to our sponsor Liquid IV. I'm glad you said that because I was thirsty as hell, too. I'm like, man, I need to drink some water. Pina colada. Delicious. Yeah, they're all good. I like that white peach. All the flavors are delish. They all are, though. I'm sure we've all at some point had a boo-boo or a cut on our hand, and we had to put on a Band-Aid. Yeah. And isn't it wild that the when you say the word Band-Aid, you just are, it's an adjective for describing a device, which actually Band-Aid is a brand. Brand. It's a brand name. 
product. And so the brand name Band-Aid, along with some other Band-Aid manufacturers, uh, have been found out that cancer-causing chemicals are inside mm -hmm. of these Band-Aids. Mm -hmm. So there were 40 bandages that were examined from 18 different brands. And they discovered, I can't say the name of the substance because it's a very long word, and I'm not that educated. But it, uh, for, for short, it's PFAS. That substance is in it. And it's also known as forever chemicals. That's the easy word to say. Mm. And it was found in 26 of the 40 bandages. Good Lord. Meaning that they are putting chemicals inside the Band-Aids that when you put it on your boo-boo, it leaks into your bloodstream and can cause cancer. So oh, now, we need to hold so now when you're walking around shit. and you see blood everywhere, you know it's because of this story and people aren't wearing band-aids. So what uh so what do you do? <laughs> like if when you go to like the uh the <laughs> the doctor or something, you gotta give blood or some shit and you know and well, they put a band-aid on they it, put it's bleeding put, everywhere. They, they put a yeah. cotton swab over it. Usually yeah. usually in the hospital they'll put a cotton swab and use tape. So they don't typically use band-aids and if they do there's usually a cotton swab remember when they were saying the talcum powder or the baby yeah. powder that was does causing it as well cancer. Johnson, shit, yeah. Johnson and Johnson got sued out of their ass don't Johnson and Johnson own band-aid or they own yeah they, they do own. yeah see it they makes sense again. now and Johnson a lot of nut sacks been Johnson. stinking heavily it. ever since boy so no, you wonder how all those, those, those cuts we have I own stock in that get, shit uh, I'm selling scabs? anybody want to buy some stock no I think I'm good actually you know what yeah I buy them it's wild because these big corporations, I watched a thing, and I think I've mentioned this on the show before. I highly recommend you watch it. It's called Blackwater, and it's a, a story about a small town, I believe in West Virginia, that's close to a river, and and DuPont, the big, major, yeah. huge company that makes paints Paint. and chemicals, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a company that's been around for over 100 years, and they make a lot of money. Yep. And in this movie, they reveal that DuPont has like a $50 million, somewhere around there, budget every year for just paying people off in this town because they were spilling all these chemicals into the water and cancer was just popping up all over the area. Even the animals that were being raised in this particular part of West Virginia, they were coming up with ailments and they were finally able to prove that DuPont was spilling chemicals into the water system and DuPont for all these years, and I believe still do, budget money to just shut people up. Like if you come to them and say, well, we got proof that you've given my husband cancer and he's died. Okay, well, we're suing you for $20 million. Okay, well, here's two and just shut the hell up. And then they got another two for this guy and another five for this guy. And they actually have it on the budget. It's like shut up money. So these corporations get to the point where they have so much money. Procter & Gamble is another mm -hmm. one. Pfizer is another one. <clears throat> they budget money knowing that their products are going to cause lawsuits. The lawsuits then come and they're prepared for them because we're making billions. What's a few hundred million to just shut people up? Here's here's the worst part, uh, Gentry and everybody else. We have, or supposedly there are people in place that are supposed to regulate this shit. To make sure it doesn't happen. They're called Oompa Loompas. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> they're nowhere. You Where know are why? the Oompa Loompas? Because they're getting paid Don't from their motherfuckers as well. It's called our government. Yeah. This sucks ass. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you Mocking what do you say? What do you say, Tomcat? Uh, yeah, I'd say that's, that's terrible. Okay, okay. Fix calm that down, Tomcat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's fucked. Yeah. It sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because we... Cause we depend on it as consumers because we need those products, you know, on an everyday basis. And to think that they're allowing this shit to go on How is did, pretty well, fucked. They probably didn't know for a long ass time. And then I guess what they did a recent study that found out, I'm sure they didn't know the whole time, but they may have known, not that I'm saying that they did right? Uh, and tried to, uh, you that's know, try to cover it up maybe sure. so that they, you know, and then it they came out. Paid. I'm not saying that that's what, uh, that's I'm what totally happened. saying that's what's happened, but, you know, there's a lot of money in it and everything with the pharmaceuticals and fucking. Well, think about it. If they're putting away, what would you say, fifty million dollars a year I'm shocked for that, lawsuits? That, I'm shocked How the a small fuck amount. is a local anything not recognizing that that's an issue in the community? Yeah, the Congress and the Senate have a slush fund too, man. Where they, they do, and they have fuckers. like a money, and all that money yeah. goes to silencing people yeah. allegedly who. 
you know, they get into the mischievous no, activities. No, they just, they just kill them. Slush fund. They just kill them. Well, we're not going to silence our newsman today. We're <laughs> not gonna, today. Never, never. We're going to give him time to shine. This newscast being brought to not you by tomorrow. BetterHelp. If you're looking to try therapy, it's quick and convenient we need when it. you use our friends at BetterHelp. Mm -hmm. Do it from the comfort of your own yeah. home on your computer and talk it out with the therapist. Just go to betterhelp.com slash outcast and save 10% on your first month's therapy. He needs a little therapy. Sometimes he gets angry on the ball court, <laughs> but he's an all right day. guy. Our newsman, our not so good newsman. We love him. He's Tomcat. Tom? All right. April 10th, 2024. We worked a little bit there. Singer producer Kenneth Babyface <laughs> Edmonds turns 66. What are you, Clark, Clark Griswold? <laughs> we All said not so good news. <laughs> he's still got a baby face, though. You got to speak Actor Steven Seagal is 72. He still will break your legs. Rapper Q Tip of Tribe Call Quest is 54 years old. Hey. Back in 2019, astronomers released the first ever image of a black hole. Uh. Should have had a picture of Ramo. Uh, in 2001, the <laughs> Netherlands passed a bill permitting euthanasia, the first such national law in the world, which means they could kill you upon your request. And it's crazy because this week, a 28-year-old Dutch woman is going to be euthanized over mental illness after a psychiatrist hit, told her it will never get any better. And then I figured I should say this is a tip line to for people who are thinking about suicide. If you know someone who is having thoughts of suicide, please contact the Suicide and Crisis. Please. Lifeline at 988 or 1 800 273 talk 8255. Good plug. I like that. Yeah. All right. But so, didn't Dr. Kevorkian exist at one point? Ain't that what he did? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's crazy. They're doing it in, I think, Canada, too. Well, All right. Yeah. April, <laughs> April 10th is National Hug Your Dog Day. It's basically nope. National Pet Day because it is National Pet Day, mm. National Siblings Day, and National Peroni's Penis Day. What? That one was fake. Sorry what's a what's a Peroni spirit? That was fake. You it's like know. a bed it's a bed to disease or your penis gets bad. They have this commercial I, I, thought, oh. I thought I thought what women, the hell you be watching. Thought it was dog. a pizza pizza penis I, I thought women liked a curved penis. Uh, it's possible. It depends that, on the direction, I guess. That's what your hips are for, guys. Alright, my first new segment comes from a French Olympic diver. His name is Alexis Jandard. He slipped and fell into the water mid-dive during a performance for the inauguration ceremony oh, oh, oh. of the Paris Olympic Aquatic Center. What a, Jan, what a Jandar. He was not hurt. He said he was very embarrassed because French President Emmanuel Macron was in attendance. What did he do? Well, you know the, well, we know who's not going to win the gold. He busts his ass. He looked like good. me on the high jump. <laughs> Next up, we got a story about We're country no music tights. star Morgan Wall. He's the bad boy of country. He was arrested after throwing a chair from a rooftop of a Nashville bar. Police say <laughs> Wallen 30 allegedly threw the chair from the country from country singer Eric Church's new bar called Chiefs, and it fell close within feet of two police officers. Authorities said there's a video right there of it falling. You got to check out his mugshot too. I don't know if we felony know. charges. I heard these Wallen are felony charges. Arrested sure. on reckless yeah, endangerment, charging somebody. three felonies. Yeah, good for him. Good for him, bad buddy. All right, we're finding out yeah, this yeah. week that the cicadas are coming back. I heard. What is the that? The periodical cicada? cicadas will emerge in 2024. Periodical cicadas aren't present every spring, but when they do emerge, they come in loud, buzzing hordes. This year, trillions of these beady-eyed bugs are expected to appear in several yeah. U.S. states in 2024. Two broads will emerge. Yep. Broad X1, XIX, which is a 13-year oh! cycle, and Broad yeah. XIII, which is on a 17-year cycle. These two broads haven't matched up since 1803. Yep. These broads are getting together like the lady with the two heads. Oh, Ooh, right. nice. Courtroom chaos. Cicada. Next story. The um, son of a murdered Lucas. father bursts in and shoots his dad's killer. Lucas. Francesco Clevelando Moreno de yeah. Mora. God dang. Survived the shooting and has no trial date set. A man is attending the murder trial after his father's killer. He busts in in the Brazil courtroom and attempted to shoot the suspect. Here he comes right here. You see him in the top left part of the screen. Get him, get him, get him. He did shoot him like six times, and he hit him over the head with the gun a couple times. You see, he was the guy that was just sitting there. Oh, yeah, he got him. All yeah. right, next up, Arizona Supreme Court rules a near total abortion ban from 1864 is enforceable. Good Lord. The ruling is on hold for 14 days, and voters will likely have a chance to weigh in on a ballot measure to enshrine abortion rights into the state's constitutional ban. Huh. Basically, it bans all abortion unless you are the mother life is in danger. 
Interesting. And that, that would be in Arizona. Oh, boy. Every last up, the West. my last story is a very cool recap in case last week we had uh, eclipse fever. If you didn't get to see the eclipse, this is the most impressive moments from last week's eclipse. If you didn't see it, check this out. Uh, this is actually uh, Milan. I don't know. How do you say that, Ramo? Matlazan. Ma- Matlazan. Ma- Matlazan. Yeah. Mexico. Mexico. Oh, 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 that's oh, so see, dope. So that cool? you don't want them in your country, but you're okay with stealing the eclipse. Huh? Well, is that what, <laughs> well, what I was going to say <laughs> is even the eclipse is crossing over the border. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Somebody get that motherfucker. Put a wall up. The moon is trying to cross the border. <laughs> get him. I wish I could have seen that, man. I would have loved to have seen <laughs> that. That's great. Look at him jumping. That's the tr- that's the uh, the way it went. We can see it. I'll be happy if awesome. I never hear the word totality ever again. Totality. Well, we're actually supposed to see one in our area in 2045. It's going right over Fort Myers. How dark it got right Port there. Port Charlie, Cape Coral. Well, I've seen you cover the toilet bowl with total totality. Yeah, totality. Yeah. Yeah. That's so why it's clogged right, right now. Today, the most searched uh, thing was eye damage from looking at the eclipse. And the place who asked where line. it was searched from most in all of the United States was here in Fort Myers and Naples. Isn't that crazy? That we, we were searching about our eyes getting we're hurt? Idiots. Oh, yeah. People That's because the, the sun is so bright here. It That's can right. definitely hurt. Because we're idiots. We got, you- we got a lot of those cicadas here. If you don't know, uh, Tomcat was mentioning the cicadas in his news. Uh, this, I have a sound effect of the cicada. They're locust people. You've, oh, heard, yeah. you've heard that sound before. Yeah. yeah. I love it. That's like being out in the country. Yeah. (laughs) And doing a little bit of both of those in the country. These nuts. Mm. Well, got to have them ribs. And pussy too. No soda, no pussy, no McDonald's. I like that. (laughs) That's like self-torture, dog. But I don't eat McDonald's anymore, so I'm not missing out. I make my own burgers at home and stuff. Fur burgers. Yeah, those are great, aren't they? Do your research. Do your research. All right. That's going to do it for this week's episode. <coughs> Already? All right. That was fun. Of the Outcast I we had Podcast. Shut up, man. Let's go. I'm trying to find the closing music. I'm having a little trouble finding it. So <gasps> Play that one, oh, our, our one of our songs. Yeah, the hip hop song. I've already cool. moved, moved on from our song. Uh, lame. I'll, I'll find the song. Lame. Lame. This is how we end it. Right here. Odyssey 2001. That's going to do it for this episode of the Outcast Podcast. <gasps> if, if you could, please. Go on Spotify and follow us. Uh, Go on your Apple when you're on there and leave a comment. Even if you think we suck, we'd we'd welcome it. We appreciate it. The more comments, the more reviews. My wife would agree. The more you tell us, the more it's good for us. So we appreciate that. Thanks to our uh, guys in the truck, Jordan and Jacob, that keep the videos and the sounds coming. Jane, Jane. Yeah, they do. They've been doing an outstanding job. Couldn't do the show without calm, those guys. Calm down. Calm also, down. Uh, thanks to the white guy, Tomcat, right. the brown oh, guy, uh, Ramo. Thank you. Oh, and yeah, of course, brown. Bueno. So very brown. Bueno. Uh, saving the uh, the black for last, though. I mean, the best for last, that would be uh, Memphis. He's, He's the black. best for last. Like, what the fuck? We need human like, resources. Don't, don't fall off that wire now. No, I'm saying, I'm saying that we're saving the best for well, last. Yeah, I mean, it's true. I'm glad you acknowledge that. <laughs> Openly, you know what I mean? <laughs> I do what I can. I know I just kind of put black things don't in the crack. back. The, don't, the blacker I mean, the berry, this, the sweeter the juice, listen, right? Listen, what are you here? running for president? You get, you get some of that, you boy, I change your life. Once talk. you go black, Ooh. you never go back, That's right? That's not true. That's so true. Yeah, yeah Raymo, you ain't had I've had back. many. No, you ain't. We'll see you next week, God's willing. All. Thanks for listening. Yay. Had them all, baby. Ha, ha, ha,